And we continue now with our Great American panel. All right, uh, John Boehner, Speaker of the House. We have a gov government uh, shutdown scheduled for a week from tomorrow. And here's what he said. Here's the bottom line. Democrats are rooting for a government shutdown. Uh, we're listening to the people who sent us here to cut spending so that we can grow our economy. As I've said from the beginning, our goal is to cut spending, not shut down the government. And you've heard uh, a lot of talk over the last 24 hours. There's no agreement on numbers, and nothing will be agreed to until everything is agreed to. Uh, we control one half of one third of the government here, uh, but we're going to continue to fight for the largest spending cuts that we can get uh, to keep the government open and funded through the balance of this fiscal year. All right. The, what scared me and a lot of conservatives, well, we only control one half of one third of the government here. We're going to continue to fight for the largest spending cuts. Now, they, they had promised and made a very specific promise, the $61 billion that they passed to their credit. But it seems like there's some wiggle room there. No, of course. Yeah. Now, the big cuts are going to come when Paul Ryan releases his budget next week, and I spoke to him uh, earlier today. My fear is, though, that conservatives, if they, don't, if they don't stand firm on this, how are they going to stand firm on entitlement reform and the $7 trillion plus that, that you know, Paul Ryan and the Republicans want to pass in next year's budget if they can't stand for $61 billion? Well, that's the big problem here. I mean, while it's important to look at this discretionary spending because it gives us a view on what government's view is of spending at the time, entitlement is really the hard road ahead of us. Right. I mean, but that if, is where we have to really cut. But if your argument giving. is now, well, we can't get the $61 billion because we're going to get blamed for the shutdown, and we only control one half of one third of the government here, when they do have the power to stand firm, it seems right. like they may be too timid and afraid of right. a shutdown. And they're playing directly into the Democrats' hands because internal Republican division shows not only discord, but the lack of principle allowing Obama to mouth homilies and win political support. So ultimately, John Boehner is doing our bidding. But the House flipped for a reason, and the American people put the conservative politicians in office to rein in government gone wild. So if they're going to start backing down now, but yeah, they who have. knows what's they going to happen? Well, Boehner's negotiating behind uh, closed yeah, doors with the Democrats. They don't have a deal. He even said it in this right. comment. Uh, but I, uh, look, I say this, and I don't think they understand the mentality. that This, this election was historic for a reason. They don't understand the mentality. That's well, then, why then it plays to the Democrats' advantage, because Boehner's misreading it. Is he afraid of a shutdown? He's afraid of standing up for principle, which is what the American people want. Hence, he's allowing the Democrats well, I, I, to come back into a game that they lost. Who are the most popular politicians today? Governors Jindal, uh, Bob McDonald, uh, John Kasich, right. Marco Rubio in Florida, and Mike Chris Pence, Christie. Michelle Bob Chris Christie, they're, why are they so popular? Because they're bold and they don't back down. I, I'm why agreeing you? with you, Sean, but that's the mistake Republicans are making. You have the establishment. No, they're about to make. Well, if they, if they if watch, they, you'll see the mistakes going to get made. If you they make this mistake, then they, I don't think they understand what's going to happen. But Sean, you should take them on. I am taking them on. I'm Harder. saying, don't do it. Don't compromise. Harder. If you do, you are going to be defeated. And they're going to do it, and they will be defeated. That's not why the Americans not what put them in office, and we want government reined in because it's totally out of control with the spending and the debt. But exactly. Why are they not taking this opportunity to educate the American people? You got the big spenders on the left. You got you got conservatives, un unconstitutional, unable to see principle they have to deal and it will be their undoing if see if they think that they're going to be able to say well we're going to do it in the next budget they're making a mistake because the democrats will hold that shutdown over their head and call precisely. them extreme then so why not fight over this precisely I mean, these a lot of these congressional freshmen they were elected specifically on this platform of reducing mm -hmm. the budget and our deficit and so if they're not even doing this here no. they're going to be out the next time around but ultimately to me it's going to be obama's fault because this is under his watch now, i'm going to tell you is Denise, not i may up disagree front. with yeah. you because it's if not, the Republicans don't fulfill their promise and stand on their no, principle... No, they need to. But Obama, he's the president of the United States, and he has been pretty much AWOL with why, this issue. They've got to fight on this $61 uh, billion. They've got to fight for entitlement reform. They've got to fight for a balanced budget amendment. They, they, mm -hmm. they better understand. They'll be supported. They'll be cheered as heroes that have, are changing the culture. Sean, the word I get from the White House is that they are doing nothing on entitlements, nothing on the budget, because they see the Republicans self-destruct by doing it? But the, the, By, the Republicans are self-destructing. Wait a minute. The Republicans, Paul Ryan, I talked to him today. He seemed, uh, uh, listen, well, I, I, he convinced me party. today. 
Well, Paul Ryan's going to, he's doing their budget. Plus, Cantor's out there trying to promote a coup against Boehner as we speak. So there's chaos on the right, and the Democrats are laughing all the way, literally, to the bank. Well, I got to tell you, the country, this isn't a time for half measures or political infighting or power. I'm for Bull Simpson. We got to do serious, balanced budget initiatives on a bipartisan basis. Now. All right. How'd you like your first time? <laughs> Hope to have you back. Well, we'd love to have you back. All right. You even signed our football. All right. And that is all the time we have left this evening. Thank you all for being with thank us. You. And thank